Hello, my name is Colleen Hughes. I am the Executive Director of the Westmoreland Drug and Alcohol Commission. And I'm Dr. Mark Fuller, the CEO of Value Behavioral Health. In an effort to combat the alarming drug epidemic in Westmoreland County, we have collaborated with Westmoreland County Behavioral Health and Developmental Services and Southwest Behavioral Health Management to develop an educational video series designed to increase awareness and educate community members. Hello, my name is Tiffany Fackler. I work with the Pennsylvania State Police, specifically with the Pennsylvania Criminal Intelligence Center as a criminal analyst with a drug analysis unit. What is heroin? Heroin is a Schedule I substance under the Controlled Substance Act due to its high potential for abuse. It is highly addictive both psychologically and physically and is the most rapidly acting of opiates. It is processed from morphine and is a naturally occurring substance that is extracted from a seed pod of poppy plants. Why the increase in use? According to the most recent DEA drug threat assessment, multiple treatment and law enforcement officials reported that a majority of heroin abusers began using heroin after they had abused prescription opioids. The main reason they chose heroin was due to it being inexpensive, readily available, and the high is very similar. The reformation of Oxycontin with delayed release also has attributed to users switching to heroin, as well as the prescription drug monitoring programs. Signs of abuse. As you can see, these are common signs and symptoms of abuse. Recognizing the actions and appearance of someone abusing heroin is imperative to initiating the road to recovery. Also, paraphernalia used in the commission of ingestion has no bounds. Drug users, specifically experienced ones, can be very creative in terms of what they utilize to reach the goal of ingestion, as well as covering up their use. Short-term effects. Heroin is converted into morphine once it enters the brain and binds to the re opioid receptors. Users usually report a rush with an intensity that depends on the amount of heroin used and how quickly it binds to the receptors in the brain. Short-term effects consist of feeling warm, dry mouth, extremities feeling heavy, nausea, vomiting, itching, drowsiness, slowed breathing and slowing of the heart function. Long-term effects. Users that abuse heroin are changing the physiology and physical structure of their brain leading to dependence, addiction, and tolerance. Some of the physical changes that occur that may be seen consist of collapsed veins and abscesses. Abscesses include brain, lung, and skin due to injection use. Internal long-term effects include respiratory issues to include pneumonia. Some individuals have died unexpectedly from pneumonia because they had no idea they were sick. The heroin due to being produced from morphine masks the symptoms of the illness. Heroin users also experience infections of the heart lining and valves, endocarditis, which is heart lining inflammation, bacterial diseases, and decreased liver function. Users may also experience constipation, gastrointestinal complications, liver or kidney disease, arthritis, rheumatological problems, HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and clogged blood vessels. Some packaging and appearance. Heroin can come in many different types of packaging. Users find different ways to transport and sell to adjust with law enforcement tactics. On the bottom left is heroin in its powdered form. As you can see, there's an example of black tar heroin on the top left corner. Then you have heroin placed in little balloons or in foil, but most commonly heroin is in stamp form as seen to the far right. This is a small thin wax bag where heroin is placed and folded into a square. Sometimes they have an emblem stamped on them, but sometimes they don't. This is a key indicator of who it was bought from or the area it was purchased in. Then you have pills mimicked to look like pharmaceuticals and gel caps as well. Adulterants. Heroin will never be pure heroin. It will always have another adulterant mixed with it. Adulterants are substances that are cut or mixed with the drug. These adulterants can range from common items found in homes such as flour, cornstarch, powdered milk, to fentanyl, clenbutrol, or procaine. These adulterants can play a major factor in overdoses due to the potency of the adulterant or the need a user might have to use large amounts due to potency level being reduced. Some drug trends. Acetyl fentanyl. This has been seen in the media due to fatal overdoses associated with it. It is a white powder, so it blends well with powdered heroin, that is 15 times more potent than heroin. This drug can easily be purchased online through vendors based out of China. Acetyl fentanyl is a Schedule I drug pursuant to the Controlled Substance Act as well. Fentanyl. Fentanyl hydrochloride is a synthetic opiate prescription painkiller considered 80 to 100 times more potent than morphine and 30 to 50 times more potent than heroin. It was originally designed for use in severe and chronic pain management with cancer patients. 
It may come in many forms that are odorless and may be clear liquid or a white crystalline powder. Fentanyl that is prescribed is available in patch form, tablet, lozenge, and liquid. Mixing fentanyl with heroin significantly amplifies the potency and potential dangers. Fentanyl is fast acting and is quickly absorbed into the system. It has also been associated with numerous fatal overdoses which have been covered by the media. As you can see here, there's a chart comparing white heroin to black tar heroin. And as indicated by this chart, white heroin originates from Colombia or South America and is typically seen on the east coast of the United States, while black tar heroin originates from Mexico and is seen on the west coast. It is important to understand that there are advantages and disadvantages for users. For instance, white heroin is easy to cut and highly water soluble, so it will typically be injected, whereas black tar heroin has a low burn temperature which makes it better to smoke. Flaca. This is also known as alpha PVP. This has seen a significant amount of media attention recently as well. This drug though is not new and was synthesized originally in the 1960s. It is related to the cathinone class of drugs, also known as bath salts, and is considered a second generation bath salt. Though the terms alpha PVP and bath salts are used interchangeably, they have differences regarding composition. This drug, alpha PVP as well, is considered a Schedule one drug according to the Controlled Substance Act, effective March 2014, due to its high potential of abuse. Marijuana candy. Marijuana candy has become a huge sensation, especially with the medical marijuana legislations and people believing that it's safer to use. This is not necessarily the case, though. One example is of a young man who shot himself after taking too many of the marijuana peach ring candies. The desired effects did not occur fast enough, so he ingested five times the recommended dose. Many are not paying attention to the labeling, which informs that the product may be delayed by two or more hours. There is also the aspect of confusing these marijuana edibles with candy that is not drug infused, which in turn can lead to cases similar to the one described. Purple drank, also known as lean, scissor, syrup, drank. This has been made popular and glamorized by rappers and athletes alike, which have also followed in some deaths of those that have glamorized the drug. What is it though? Purple drank is simply a mixture of soda, such as Sprite or Mountain Dew, Jolly Ranchers for color, and codeine. Users will drink until they experience an out-of-body experience that can last up to three to six hours, and the effects of the drug can cause euphoria, disassociation, motor skill impairment, which aligns with the leaning reference, and can cause death. Vaporizers and inhalers. Vaporizers have become a huge phenomenon. Everyone suggests they are healthier than smoking cigarettes, but what a lot of people do not realize is that many are using drugs other than the intended purpose. Specifically, the use of marijuana is common to see associated with vaporizers. The inhaler on the top right of the screen is another way to disguise drug use and make it seem like someone is taking medication instead. All the users have to do is screw off the metallic top, place the marijuana within, screw it back on, and wait for that light in the front to go from orange to red. As soon as that light turns red, they're ready to inhale. Though people insist this form of ingestion is healthier, they may be using something that is not legal instead. If you have seen any of these drugs or paraphernalia, contact your local police. If you are concerned for a family or a loved one concerning drug abuse, contact your local drug and alcohol case management unit or single county authority. Mm -hmm.